To assign a test, simply navigate to the test library and choose one of our pre-built assessments or an assessment that you or a colleague has created. In the authored by me section, you'll find two different types of assessments, those that are published and those that are draft. The assessments that are in draft form, simply hover over the image at the top, choose edit, and there's an assign button at the top right. On the assessments that are already published, simply hover over the image and click assign. Begin by selecting which class or classes you want to assign to by selecting this option here. Select the class that you wish to use, and if you need this to go to specific students, choose that option here. After adding in my students, I need to decide when this assessment is available for my students. I can either open the assessment up on a specific date or time, and close it on a specific date or time, or I can choose to open and close the assessment manually. If I do choose to use an open or close date, simply click on that option here, choose a date, select a time, and click OK. If you want to allow late submissions, choose the use open, do, and close date option here, and this will allow the assessment to continue past the due date so students still have access to finish that assessment. Next, select the test type. To learn more about test types, please read the article in the description below. Lastly, choose the override test settings if you are a premium member and you want to assign some specific assignment options for your students. These options will include things like shuffling questions or shuffling answers, giving a calculator, or even requiring a password for your students to be able to access this assessment. You might want to keep in mind the type of assessment that you are assigning. If it's a final exam or chapter test, you might want to keep all of the answers and scores hidden until you're ready to release them. On the other hand, if it's a homework assignment, immediate feedback might be valuable as well as using the calculator. Finally, you can choose specific performance bands or standards-based grading scales here depending on the assessment. The bands are already set by your district, but you can select which specific bands you want to follow. For some additional options, choose Show Advanced Options here. This will give you the ability to give a magnifier on the test, enable the scratch pad, and to give the assessment a specific skin that might match your state tests. Now that I selected all of the information I need for this test, I'll simply click the Assign button at the top right. Once I do that, I will get this confirmation screen. This lets me know the assessment has successfully been published. I will also have the ability to change the sharing level here by clicking the edit button. And I can quickly go to the live class board by clicking the icon here so I can watch the results as they come in. 